Hey guys, this is Ginger. Welcome to and welcome back to my channel. Happy Sunday. For those of you guys that are new here, why don't you go ahead and hit that like and that subscribe button. And for my old subscribers, I want to say thank you guys for your continuous support. So today's video, we are headed to go meet a guy to pick up a couple of shishito pepper plants. I think I picked up three of those and a couple of other varieties. So I think I picked up like six in total. And then from there, uh, we stopped at a new greenhouse that we stumbled upon. It's not new, but it's called the Tillery Greenhouse or Tillery Nursery. I don't know. I can't remember. But we stumbled across that one while headed home. So we're going to stop in there. We made a few other stops, but I didn't get that on video. So um, once we get home, then I will show you my little plant starts and where I plant, planted those in my no dig garden bed. So stay tuned and enjoy the vlog. So y'all, this is the awesome scale. And they there's mama, G. Oh, you think she cute? So we stumbled across a, another garden center. And this is East Austin Succulents and Tillery Street Plant Company. So yeah, I'm really gonna try not to buy nothing. I'm just looking. So we're gonna take a quick look through here quick one. quick and then we're going to stop and then we're gonna go grab something to eat we're going to what oh we gotta go grocery shop no
that. So we just left East Austin Succulents and Tillery Plant Street Company. It was a very nice nursery, but we didn't end up getting anything. So I just got through buying some pepper plants from a man right around the corner. And then I stopped here, but I think he had better deals for his plants. But this is a nice place. And I'm actually gonna call, what did they say, Monday? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. They may have the kumquat trees, but I'm gonna call before they I come down they here. Think they will. The kumquat, that's the sweet version of the little tree I'm looking for. Lady, I'm telling you, not All right, guys. So, I don't think we're gonna grocery shop today. I'm tired. Yep. So, we ain't grocery shopping, but we still gonna drive around. All right, guys. So, I think that's pretty much it. We're not gonna grocery shop today, not as of right now. So, we're gonna go grab something to eat, and I'll talk to you guys in a minute. Boy. All right, guys. So, I am finally getting to lay out my bed. And what. I what I'm planting here are some peppers and tomatoes. So I'll probably come back later and show you what everything is. But I just want to show you guys that I'm in the middle of actually laying everything out. So what I'm adding is a little bit of organic bone meal and organic blood meal. So that's what we have going on. And yeah, so I'll talk to you guys in a minute. Yeah. So I am getting ready to plant some of the big kuhuna garden beans, bush beans. So I'm just going to go ahead and put a few seeds in here. And then you cover it up with about a, a I think it said an inch of dirt. So. I'll just cover these up with some soil. And then I'll water these in. See, I have one more seed, so I'll just put that in here. All right, so that's that. So the big kahuna, I'll label that. And then here, I just replanted some Swiss chard. There's two plants in here. And then some spinach. And these are called the spinach, Bloomsdale spinach. So I have two plants in here. And then I'll end up, I'm not sure if I'm going to plant this. Because it was already bolting. So I don't think that I'm going to plant this one. Maybe I'll put it in a hanging basket. Or... I'll probably put it in this bed over here. Yeah, that's where I'll put that one. All right. So what I'm doing now is just put in some of these little dollar, not Dollar Tree, I got these from Walmart, Mainstay uh, Classic Column Pathway Lights. So I'm just adding, uh oh, four of these here. And I think the other one's in my car, so I'll have to go back and get that. And these look really nice at nighttime. And I think I may go back to pick up a few more. Um for the for my garden bags too. Then I'll go get the other one. Here's the fourth one. So I'll, like I said, I'll come back and put that one in later. Put it down to what the little salad bed is looking like. Here are some radish. Here, I just sprinkled a few seeds here or there. And then some green onions. And I believe those are the bunch of onions, but I think these got kind of 
ruined when the weather was too cold. All right. So, and I think I may need to move this one down, but I'm just going to leave it alone because it's not a big deal. So. so you can see where I'm getting ready to plant this arugula in this bed, but I end up planting it and then I end up taking it right out. So, um, yeah, I don't know why I end up planting it there, but I think I end up sprinkling some seeds in here. So hopefully the seeds will pop up a little bit later on. In here and I'm going to put a little bit of bone meal for nutrients in the hole. and a little, just a tiny bit of blood meal. And like I said, this one is getting ready to bolt, so I'm not quite sure how this one's gonna do. I think I'm gonna drop a few basil seeds in here. So, and I already put some at the end of the tomato bed right there. So I'll add a few more here on this end. through planting the lettuce leaf basil and I think that's about it oh and also earlier what I did was next to each plant I went ahead and dropped a few seeds um, I think they were marigold they were called Colossus red marigold seeds and those are from Baker's Creek so that's what I dropped uh, throughout this garden bed so everywhere you see a flower now and a plant I added a marigold, a couple of marigold flowers there because I'll probably want these to grow throughout the whole season. So I'll get a little water at that and then I'll be done for the evening. And I think I'm getting ready to drop a few Swiss chard seeds in this um, basket. So these are, you can plant these between March and June. These Swiss chards, so I'm gonna drop a few of these seeds in there. So once these kind of grow out, then I'll have, there's a rabbit, then I'll have some more. Let's see, I need to get my fence up. My, um, me and my dad are working on a screen. So we need to get that put up now because apparently the rabbits are coming out now. And I don't have time to fool with these rabbits. So, just drop one there, this one there, one here, I think there was two in there, okay, and then I poured too many, so you can also put some of these off in the bed with the tomatoes as well, so they're an okay companion plant for tomatoes. And I think I have some, I put beets in here yesterday. Let's see, I have a few more seeds and I'll just drop these seeds right here. More Swiss chard. All right. So, hold on y'all. So actually this little frame here, I'm waiting for my dad to come by, so we're gonna 
So we're gonna encase this with some screen mesh. Um, it was originally just made for, or the idea was originally for rabbits, but we got to thinking about for like the moths and everything too. So we're gonna use a smaller screen to encase this with. And then I'll be able to move this off and on by flipping it over. So yeah, that's the idea for that. And let me water and then that'll be it. this light this one that's missing and also to check to see if them dang old rabbits came back over here from earlier so i'll just go ahead maybe i'll put that like that what that look like i think i'll do that like that so i'll put these two on the end so like crisscross that and then let me see what this looks like actually like the yellow lights better than the led so those little yellow ones are actually these are the ones i got from the dollar tree and these little led color ones which i don't like now because they're not as bright in comparison to the ones from walmart so I think I'll probably go back tomorrow and pick up a few more of those. So anyway, just a quick show of the peppers. This is a tangerine pepper. This is a shishito pepper. And that's another shishito. That's a yellow bell pepper. And here is some arugula. And here is a chocolate, I think it's called a great chocolate pepper. So it's a bell pepper. And this is I believe an Anaheim pepper. Actually, here's an Anaheim pepper. And this one, ooh, what that is? Poblano pepper. Here are marigolds. Right here, I have a few beets planted, some tomatoes. And these are called black prints. And I don't know what kind of tomato that is. More flowers. And then, this one, San Marzano. And this one, RM2020 Rodeo Tomato, the yellow pear, and the tomato. This is the early girl. And one of these are already sprouting. I think it's this one right here. So this one starts sprouting in the house, the Rodeo 2020. So yeah, this is what I'll see, and I'll probably go ahead and put some more of these. Actually, I think I'll move these LED lights, and I'll put them in the basket. So I'll probably get lights for each basket that's what i'll do but i'm gonna go back to walmart and get these yellow ones because i like how these look and i'll just probably leave those right here so yeah guys i'll talk to you guys on the next video bye